this video we are going to talk about locators in cypress so if we come from java selenium background and we have to work in cypress we need to know how to find the locators and interact with the website and web application right so this is a very useful topic that i am going to talk about today so without any further delays let's get started with the topic so i'll explain all the concepts that is there in the locators so if you follow this i'm sure that you definitely gonna be able to find the locators and work with cypress okay so first of all i'll open my uh, google docs Similar to Selenium, I am gonna take one dummy website that is this one. Here, let's open the network tab and inspect the elements. So here, lot of things are there. So, lot of elements are there. So for example, uh, this is the element that I am hovering over. This is the div tag and it is having the ID as root. Okay. So I am gonna uh, look at this element and I just want to do some actions. So in that case, you can write uh, ID as hashtag. Okay. Hashtag root so example example will be like hashtag uh, root ok so this is uh, one of the major important way that you can find Cypress you can locate the elements using class using dot function you can locate the class okay so for example if you want to do some actions in the automation for example I am going to uh, validate this auto complete thing and it is like showing that card over on this element so in that case I am gonna copy that uh, attribute value and I am writing dot uh, card overall so basically it is showing 21 elements ok so Ok so let me just copy this one So this is one of the element that is Kyo playground This text is there and the logo is there on the header of the web page And I am gonna validate that this logo and the text is there or not Suppose this is a requirement for example just for example So you can do this by the help of uh, class locator See if I click on this one you can see that uh, home screen header see if you write dot see you can see that it finds the element you can uh, write it as uh, over here as dot 
class name okay so this will find the uh, element the next step is when there is no class or id present in the attribute of the element then what we will do so in our application not everything is straight forward and we have to use some techniques in that case so i'm going to show you so for example in maximum cases there will be class or id but suppose uh, there is no class or id then you can use so for example this one you can use uh, attribute name and attribute value so if i write over here you can see that attribute name is href href and the value is like upload if i look at this element so it is having a forward slash upload so it is basically a, a link over here but the point of uh, telling this one is like if you don't have that class and id attributes in your element you can use uh, like this okay you can also use a tag on front of that okay so i am going to write it over here if there is no class or at id attribute name attribute value so the attribute value will be in single quotes or double double quotes anything so you can use a template literal as well since this is uh, javascript okay Okay. And the next one is like multiple class values. Okay. So suppose you want to do selection and you found out that there is multiple class values. So for example, uh, this one. It is a very long class value. Okay. If you write it over here, it may or may not find that element. If you write the dot over here, it won't find that uh, class. Okay. So in that case, you have to uh, delete all the spaces in between, and you have to write dot in between. Okay. So if you write like that, you will find that all the element. Okay. So this is one of the case uh, where you can like uh, perform this one since there is a uh, two id over here you can just use one id over here okay so in this way like you can uh, write the class name over here using the dot 
the person just to remove the dot so this is handy in case there is a very long class id so now we are going to talk about nth value so what do i mean by nth value so here in most of the cases you are going to land into this issue that for example you want to find this image okay so it is inside a tag and then it is div tag so it is nested inside div tag okay and there are so many examples for the nested element for example this div div class is also home screen header this element is nested inside this div okay and this this div id root is nested inside this body so if you want to locate elements you can do like this i am going to show you nth value or nested element nested element so you can write like this element tag then a greater than symbol and then child tag dot some value so this is like the syntax okay i'm going to show you with the example okay so suppose this is a my web application where we have different elements and uh, here i want to get that uh div home screen services okay so this is inside body and then div is a child element then again there is a child element div so how you can get that is like if i write here body body will come then greater than symbol div okay so as you can see here div is coming over here so if i write if i write here again div it will come down below okay so in this way like you can just uh, traverse down the dom okay so this is the concept of like nested element i just wanted to show you that okay and the sixth one is like starts with so what is starts with we are going to see this so here for example there is a lot of element and uh, there is a theme color okay there is an element that is div and it is having attribute class and having the value home screen header so here the starting value is home screen okay so i want to locate this element so if you write here div equals to home screen header Uh, sorry it will be class class home screen header it is getting that element so now if i write uh, one symbol like that it will be there on your keyboard and just remove the header so you can see four elements are are there okay so that is like starts with so it is locating all the elements which starts with home screen Uh, value okay so this is the concept of starts with so i'm going to write over here example and paste this over here and the seventh concept is ends with so i'm going to 
gonna show you this one with some example so let's go to my application so here the same example i will take uh, header so i will write this header so as you can see now zero elements are there if i write here dollar symbol so it is showing one so what this means what this uh, syntax means is that so the value is their home screen header right and if you write dollar over here it will find only the header that is the ends with value okay so it, this header is in the end of the word, right home screen header so in this way it will find all the elements that is having header as the ends with value so this is the concept of ends with okay so moreover Cypress will have a inbuilt locator which you can easily find out the element like selectors up uh, so you can use that functionality as well and these are some of the locator strategy that is there in Cypress which you can uh, use in your web application using some trial and error and you need to be good in fighting the locators because this is one of the most important task as a QA engineer that we need to do. So I hope that you understood these concepts. If you understood the concept, uh, please subscribe and like this video and share this video. Uh, I will come with an interesting video next time. Till then, see you.